right now. All right, and here we go. So again, this is the finals of the season two Chicago Overwatch League. And in fact, this is gonna be, the winner of these games is gonna walk away with 180 bucks. It's pretty good money for playing video games, I think at least. That's the dream. We're gonna see what these teams walk out of here with. I'm doubtful that we're gonna see Irritable on a uh, Bastion, but you never know. I think sometimes you know the league when you're just playing for fun is is one thing but now that you're dealing with some money on the table things are going to get interesting one shot one kill would be very curious to see hold on one second we're going to have a slight issue here give us one minute and we're paused Slight mic thing, but uh, we are back in action here. All right. All right, so we might see Zave pick up a Widow. You know, that Widow on attack is awesome to pick up some really aggressive first point kills here. And especially on King's Row with that nice little easy doorway at the top. But he opts not to here. So again, if you're looking at differences between these teams, Team Onyx has put in a lot of time to get the win here. Um, They've been practicing yesterday. They were actually in here earlier today, I don't know if you noticed, practicing as well on the set of computers back there. So yeah. this is a team that is that takes this tournament very seriously and is definitely dedicated to winning. Um, team Sapphire, on the other hand, a lot of just good, highly skilled players. We've got Zave trying to get some picks here. Will he be able to get that soldier? Get around. Not really connecting a lot of shots there. We've got kind of a very bizarre setup here. Cool. You gotta be careful that we're not feeding onto that Zarya. Onyx is doing a nice job though, he's pushing in. Ooh, now they're on the run. But Will, again, just a phenomenal Zarya player. Always getting that charge up, always making the right moves, it seems like. It seems like his charge unnaturally fills up. And he's always running with almost a full charge. <laughs> always. Yeah, it does not take long for mm -hmm. that to happen. And so, one of the things though about Team Onyx is that they are fairly predictable. Is that, yes, Zave is a very strong Pharah. They know he's gonna play Pharah, and that's kind of what they're expecting. And again... So you see, the, you see both uh, McCree and Soldier. So you got two hit scans there going right for him. Yep. Which is exactly what they want to have against the Pharah. Not to mention they also have the Zenyatta. Oh yeah, cannot forget that. So we've got two players down for Team Onyx here, and they are just stopping any sort of aggression. But he is back there, causing some issues. They all come oh, good all by Onyx there. So Onyx gets a little bit of life breathed into him, but quickly gets taken out by Freeze Shots and the Link, just picking him up. Save though now. Here he's got the ult. Is he gonna be able to make something happen? Wow. Picks up the Zen and Team Sapphire is a little scattered here, but so is Team Onyx. And I think they just gotta get the nerves off here. It's the first game out of the gates. Oh yeah. That's for both teams here. Look at this. Look at that. Zane's not afraid of Soldier. He's going towards Soldier. Ooh, picks him up, doesn't allow the beat to get dropped, and here we go. Big all coming down, combining these together. And pushed him into the corner. It looks like Onyx might be able to snatch this up. Yeah, it seems like it. 
We've got Team Onyx at three quarters. They're not going to give this up easily, though. Blitzball coming in with the all side of Trin. Nice coordination there to kind of allow these three players to be on the point, doing something. Alt comes out of Link. You see a big ult out of Kawhi. Senpai there picks up two. Nice placement on that, if I don't say so. Oh, yeah. Looks like Team Onyx, but... Back and forth, but another big res out of Yurtable. Keeps him up, and it... Freestyle is not able to make anything with that, but is able to push back by Senpai. Look at how close that point is, though. They got it. Nice snag there. That was a lot of back and forth, though, but that was honestly on the backs of Yurtable's heels. Absolutely. On the back of his heels and his res. I mean, those are two reses that initiated both big advances into the point. His res is what secured them the point in this final, so we see again that he's able to make it happen. So really great play out of that Mercy. Sapphire, though, quickly shuts down this push, and it's going to be really hard for Ruby to push in here without this... Or, I'm sorry, for Onyx to push in without the support. Yeah, they're really getting the back to that choke point there. But they're coming... Sapphire's coming up just a little bit here. Looks like they might be able to hold it. Irritable way out in the open there. Trying to fly away. All come, or dive comes in off Shreys, but gets picked up. Link. It's hurt. I think they were hoping for Shreds to stay alive just a little bit longer there to come around. Onyx needs that front line blitz ball. Nice dead eye. They don't have any way to stop this. And he manages to just pick him up. Heroes Not a whole lot coming out there. Yurtable, though, gets the all. Keeps the pressure going here. They just keep that momentum on, on. Great job on Yurtable's part. Trade's kind of backing up there. Um, looks like Onyx is going to be able to clear this point, but Will drops his all to kind of contain them. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Three straws picks up the kill off Zave, though. And again, he's a major DPS player, which should be able to prevent it. Trade's goes down. Strange goes down, but did a really good job of holding that ult that Will just tossed in there as Daria. This ult out of carry, he needs some help though, got it. Carry, look out. Gets aggressive. Very risky, very risky. But also knows that with Zen's popping, the ult can't do any damage. Yep, and he kind of takes advantage of that as he is able to get his heal down and keeps this push moving. Really nice play out of carry there to keep him moving. Onyx, very nicely done. It's very close there. Threading the needle here. Really are. But look, Sapphire again trying to collect themselves. They're right at the bend. They're going to do similar to what we saw last game. We're going to see if they can hold off this point. We got a minute 25 on the clock right now. Ooh, it's going to be hard for Zave to win this, but he's able to keep up. Look at those heals. Wow. But again, it's at the expense of everybody else on their team. Gorgasaur going down. Yeah. And their uh, Team Onyx is forced to regroup and back up. My tactical visor is charging. You look at Team Sapphire, you got four players on fire there. They are just connecting. But Team Onyx has got a lot of alts coming into this point here. And again, we see Yurtable ready for another timely res. So let's see if they can get in there. And plenty of places to hide at this point in the map. Let's see if Freesaws is able to prevent trades all here. Got to be careful there. Ooh, he catches him running back. There comes the all out of Kawhi Senpai. Right over is top. Is able to pick up Will and Zave as well. And the whole team Sapphire starting to collapse there. Wow. Ninja is in the back. Blitzball. See if he can pick up a dead eye. Might be able to. Ooh, gets eaten by Kawhi Senpai. And falls as Zave picks him off and gets, creates a pretty bad stagger. Oh, Onyx able to take out those big damage dealers with that nice combo ult. Again, ult management we're seeing. We saw a big hold here last oh, time on big, the last Big point. ult by Will right there. And not, not gonna be enough. Not enough. Look at those shots, just so consistent. But Free Straws picks up two with a flame strike. Totally cleans up the point. Wow. Sapphire's looking pretty good shape right now. Well, we got Blitzball. Really running around, keeping him off. And that's going to be it. Very nice defensive tracer there. Yeah. Very, Very nice impressive. Play there. Nice work. So a really good player. There. That is where Team Jade was stopped last time um, by Team Ruby on the last set of matches. I'll be very interested to see if this is a similar case here. That's a fairly long push. Um, it is. And I mean that... Both teams are definitely capable, so there's no clear winner here at all.
Absolutely. We, there's a lot of kind of at points here that can be challenging to take. Obviously, the, the point in general it can be challenging at times, but usually that goes in favor of the attacker. But once you start to go down this walkway, you know, if you're able to prevent them right around this part of the alley, this is really where a lot of teams get stopped up here. Mm -hmm. And um, you can tell that they just weren't able to push it through here, able to make it make that final just couple inches, um, and it really cost them. I'm out of here. This is a pretty good, pretty good map. Nice layout. Yeah, this is a good one. Irritable. Definitely not opting for the Sombra, just goofing. And he uh, sticks with the, the Mercy that he's had a lot of success on. Oop, we're calling for a game pause here real quick from one of the players. Maverick's going to step up here and see what's going on. Uh, so, uh, she was on the, we were just saying earlier in the stream, uh, everyone ranges from around plat to even a couple top 500s. And the way that it's organized here is we have the players, we take into account both our SR, their highest SR, as well as the role that they play. So the teams are arranged to uh, even that out. So it's not just one full team of, uh, you know, all top 500. That's also, that's just for uh, league play. We have, um, in the coming months, uh, we're still working on details, but we're, uh, we'll be looking into more tournament and fully arranged teams as well. Good to go. Sorry for the pause. I want to make sure everybody's mics are working and ready to go. Um, all right, so let's see if Ninja sticks on this widow. Could be very cool. Yeah. Oh, I forgot this we had like a little the, drink here. This is like the best tasting Red Bull of the bunch, I think. Purple drink? Just purple. <laughs> it says purple edition. <laughs> oh, what? Purple is now a flavor. Oh, I like it. It's like... I'm drinking those like freezy things, you know, yeah. and they're melted. <laughs> the best part. Like one of those little slushy things. Yeah. Those were pretty good. All right, let's see what we got here. Both teams coming out here. Standard play. Ninja though getting picked off pretty quick. But Team Sapphire trying to zip around the back here. Already breaking in, already collapsing. Three stars immediately picks up Irritable, but he goes down as well. Wow, really aggressive move on Onyx there, and Ooh. Dave just picking him off. Both healers goes down, great amount of control there out of him. And he's making a really tough here, great direct shots. That's gonna be able to clean him up, and it looks like Team Onyx is gonna be able to take over this point again, and on the back of Zayn, just picking up kill after kill. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh, just misses. Ninja keeping Onyx on their toes there. He's just not doing her enough damage, so he's just missing those kill potential. Yeah. Widow can be really strong, though, with the fair up in the air, but I guarantee Zave's got a lot of experience dealing with people trying to shut him down on all sorts of characters. We'll see how he chooses to respond to it. Well, I want to see if he chooses to stay just behind that bend there, which is very effective, because you just lure the other team in. Good heals there by Irritable. Ooh, carry. Pops big ult, but Blitz Bolt's behind him, really taking him down. Zave though, fearlessly engaging him. And it looks like Team Onyx is gonna be able to stabilize with two and a half left. Wow, nice work, Onyx. Ooh, it looks like Team Sapphire wants to try and push this advantage that they've got with the far away yeah. respawn. They might be able to 
to take this over here. We might be able to do this. Freeze Straw is taking the lead there. We see Will walking with the aggressive Zarya, keeping the shield up and protecting Ryan. Ooh, but Freeze Straw manages to get taken down there. Straits has it all. Could be big. Zabgo that gets taken down. We still have the alt out of Irritable, which could bring this team back to life. Let's see if he chooses to pop it. You see the Zen ult in desperation there. Ooh, Shrade, big ult. Oh, misses a flame strike onto the lamppost, but still picks up Ninja. Still managed to get Ninja out of the way. So big damage dealers, three straws, taking out two there and that. You got Irritable, flies right past him, doesn't want any part of that. Probably just saving his ult. He manages to go down as well. Lennox it looks like they've recollected themselves back on the point. Mm -hmm. And they're slowly starting to rebuild their ult charges as well, which means that it's gonna it's gonna be hard for Team Sapphire to take this, especially with a minute and a half left. Yeah, they got a minute and a half. They've got three ults uh, ready to rock and roll. This is gonna be tough for Sapphire here. Ooh, and he immediately picks up the kill on Blitzball, which means that their DPS is down. This is gonna be, again, even harder to push into and just buys more time for Ruby. Onyx, Onyx. Onyx, sorry, red. And Y Senpai, he's gonna get her ult ready. Might just use this as a second life to kind of per continue on, but she's also got a good opportunity to launch that in there. If she she could still do some real damage if she wanted. All right, we're coming in under that minute mark there. Team Sapphire's probably sweating right now. Um, Another big DPS here coming out of Carrie, who's really... Carrie's always very good on the positioning on uh, on those ult drops and going right after Blitzball, DPS on DPS action. Yeah, and uh, we saw him pop the ult there, but here we go. Free Star's getting very aggressive, 30 but seconds, already Blitz. going down. All comes out of Kawhi Senpai to pick up the heals. And with that res, Irritable needs to stay up, but it looks like Team Sapphire is doing a lot of work there on the point. They're going to be able to pick this up. Wow. So in the remaining 10 seconds, Sapphire breathes a little bit more life into the team and um, and have a lot of ults left to spare too. Very nice. Wow. Hear that music playing, start getting a little nervous. <laughs> oh yeah. So now Ruby's gotta do their best here to see if they can't shut this down. Team Onyx, jeez. What's wrong with me guys? The purple red ball. I know. It's getting back to the thinking. We got Zave prepping his ult from the top, and again, he's not just looking to blow it whenever, but oh, he's doing it in response. But look at that, Will, just dealing with it. He throws his ult kind of wildly there, hoping his team picks up the kills, and they do. Wow. They're marching right along there. Irritable does not have the all top. He needed that too. That would have really turned that around. Yeah. That was a really good answer by Sapphire there. He gets staggered. He's in rough shape here. We'll see if he's able to get away. He's not. It means that Team Ruby, Team Onyx has just got to be able to hold on to this. Why is Senpai doing whatever she can to just delay it a little bit longer? Carrie picking up two right away and Will goes down. Great. Kills with ninjas up here, rain and death down, but Carrie just fires right back at him and they're able to retake this point. Wow, nice work, Onyx. Again, they really reflect themselves after just being shattered. Carrie was 100% what carried that through there. Really great kills. This is, again, some phenomenal DPS. Would you say he really carried the team? He did. I mean, we don't see that sort of play all the time. He's got to be careful, though, if he's caught out here. Um, but we're down to the last 50 seconds for Team Sapphire. They might have, this might be their last push. And if you look at the alts, Onyx is kind of ahead in that way. So yeah. let's see what they can Onyx do. Onyx has got the alt on top here. If Irritable could stay alive, but I also think Sapphire knows that. So let's see where they pick their targets. Save also very close. Launching some great shots down there. All comes down straight. Totally misses it. Blitzball oh, picks way up out of carry. position. I mean, there's a lot of players out of position. Free is just shredding that back line. Everybody's starting to fall apart. Yurtable's going to need a res, and he does. Zave, is it enough? Is it enough? Save though, gets taken down, and looks like Team Sapphire is going to pick this up despite those downs. And in the overtime, picks it up. You know, 
the team Onyx scattered there at the very last second. And I don't yep. know if Yurtable was able to get up all the reses that he needed to. Really close games there. It was. Yurtable had some really good reses to speak to that, that whole match. Coming down to the wire there. Wow. So you end Ooh. up with Blitzball. Blitzball with the play of the game. This is actually what it looks like turned around this game here. Ooh, despite all this going down. This is like trademark Onyx play here. A very coordinated effort. Nice. I thought that was Steam Sapphire, but it's all good. Oh, sorry. 